the number sixth ranked team in the country. Starting lineups brought to you by Sinclair Oil. We're about as American as it gets. Number six in the country, yet they're young. Very young. LD Williams, the most experienced player out there. He's their most consistent player, but the others have more talent. Jeff Teague leads the team in scoring. Dave Rose's starting lineups. Camard and Tavernari, a pair to draw to. No question about it, but Jackson Emery is a big lift for them because he takes some of the defensive pressure off of Camard because he can guard a good wing player. Jimmer Fredette can score as well for Dave Rose. Now in his fourth year, lost his first game ever at the Marriott Center to Loyola Marymount. Hasn't lost since 53 straight. McFarland and Miles. BYU ball, here's Fredette. He'll be picked up by Teague. And Winker in their typical man-to-man. -man. They're not a real pressure team, more of a contained man-to-man -man defense. What can we look for from BYU offensively? Look for them to play a lot of inside out. Right there, the ball went inside and got punched out. That's how they play their best. Miles to Fredette, Fredette knocks down the three. Fredette picked up by Teague, and boy, he hasn't he shown what he can do. Shooting from the outside, driving, steal. That's what BYU needs. The Tavernari responds with a three. Mendeekin points. Tavernari again, same spot, same result. Dave Rice, the assistant, associate head coach, made that call from the bench. Very smart play. Tavernari had knocked down a three. Tavernari had to go right back to him again. They talked about a point of emphasis with that, and they've stuck with it the past few seasons. For that. Abua. First lead of the night for BYU. They've only played about 15% of zone during the course of the season up to this point. But we thought we'd see a little more than that. Air ball from Woods. And if Woods keeps shooting like that, we'll see a lot of zone. For that, for three. Nino Gaudio needs a timeout to get Wake settled down. He calls it. Eleven fifty remaining in the first half. Rich Cellini, Dave Bullwinkle, and the all-time steals leader in the history of BYU basketball. Well, I can shoot the ball a little bit too, and we're going to talk about threes. That guy could light it up, and BYU has been lighting it up, showing why they average eight make threes a ball game. Penetrating pitch one way to get it. A little pick and a pop action. Now you're going to see the dribble baseline penetration and kick out as the defense flattened out. And lastly. In transition and a nice up fake by Jimmer Fredette. The defense flies by and he puts his name in the book. Beautiful block by Amanu. No trespassing sign. Teague to the corner, Smith for three. That's not Smith's strength. Three on one, Fredette. Hale wisely concedes. Teague is perfect tonight. 12 points. Four for four from the field, three for three from the line. Fredette, old school. Perfect at one end, not so good at the other as Fredette, who does not have blazing speed, just dribbled right past him. Air ball from Amanu. Amanu doing what he doesn't do well. Don't shoot from outside if you can't. Fredette can shoot. 13 points for Jimmer Fredette. Backed him off and had position. Blocking out isn't just a defensive part of rebounding. And one for Abuo. Very nice looking young freshman Abuo. Nice dribble penetration. That's called draw and kick. And Teague tries to do a chin up on Abuo's bicep. And it just sends Abuo to the line. We got ourselves a high octane game here. For that layup, block, goal 10 by Weaver. For that, Miles, Tavernari, Kamard, and Abuo. Kamard. Kamard. Quick release. Kamard working on Williams. Amanu. 
stolen for that. And one. Now we have a whole series of mistakes here. We're going to start out with a pick. The freshman Amanu needed to know, pull the ball back, we have the last shot. Then we get a foul in the three-point play. And what we don't see on screen is going to be fouled up by a technical foul on McFarland for barking at the official right there. So here we have the board wrong. TV, we were right. We Scoreboard were right. Scoreboard in the house was wrong. Going wise in all conference quality player. And Jimmer Fredette, he's matched him point for point. He's ahead 18 to 16 because he knocks it down from outside. You know how you can tell a guy's a great shooter? Fredette looks good when he misses, and goodness knows he looks good, looks good when he makes it, and he made a lot, even left-handed. And now he gets a nice pass, pulls up, gets Morgan the assist. 18, 16, look at these two guys. They're giving us all conference quality performances right here, and this has been a big time, high level ball game. Good from the corner, Emery. Five BYU players now in double figures. Emery the latest. For that. Well defended, Tavernari. Well defended is right. Great, great play by McGregor stepping up, forcing him to shoot the jumper. For that draws the whistle. Is an excellent sophomore having really elevated his play in the offseason. What he's done really well is not just score, but become a good ball handler. When they lost Sam Burgess and Ben Murdoch to graduation, they needed somebody to step up and be able to be a good handler for him. And Fredette has done that. He's not a flashy handler, he's a steady handler. Fredette. McGregor for the finish. We're going to see some good dribble penetration coming up right here. And you can see how. McGregor does a good job of sliding into the open area, and as the dribble took place, he was looking pass all the way. That's a great relocation by McGregor. Aminu. Smith, little jumper. Aminu and Kamar, Tavernari, Fredette. Provo. We're trading punches on this one. Chris Miles has fouled out. Nice dribble penetration. And when you shoot a soft ball, you get those kind of makes. Not make it. Ooh, right there in the low post. Kamar. Tiging. Burnett with the feed. Dino Gaudio and Dave Rose. And a wonderful college basketball game here at the Marriott Center.